hey hi all welcome to my youtube channel once again uh, so friend in this video i'm going to cover how we can create a docker image with the help of that docker container so why we need to uh, create a docker image from the container suppose in this man uh, in this way uh, you have a docker container running and you uh, you go inside the container with the help of docker exe command and you install some binaries uh, inside the container you install some library inside the container you uh, made uh, some changes inside the container in terms of configuration file and you add uh, some data inside that uh, uh, container so what happened uh, your uh, after these changes your application working fine without any issue as expected but uh, in the future maybe or uh, that container goes uh, die maybe any region so you all the changes you all the configuration which you uh, made uh, you which you did inside the container all spoil okay so how you can uh, create a docker image from the container so again again you don't want to uh, do all this uh, configuration or all these changes uh, log, uh, while logging inside the container. So that's the region, that's the main primary region we need to create a Docker image from the container. So if we have the latest Docker image uh, from the container, so if that container goes die in a future, then we don't have worry about that because we have the Docker image. And the same Docker image, we can create the container, same container, same configuration container uh, within a second so we 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 will uh, not doing the repeatable task again and again okay so i think you are aware why why it is uh, so necessary for create the docker image for the container okay so let's perform this lab so in my docker hub there there is no any uh, container running right now so let me run one container so command will be the docker run hyphen d hyphen p8080 is the host port and then 80 is the container port and hyphen hyphen name and name will be the web one and image will be the httpd i'm going to take the httpd image here for running this container okay fine so let's verify container is running or not the command will be the docker ps so this container is running and it's having the image httpd the container id start with the 383 and container name is that web1 okay so let me access this container with the public ip so So this is the my uh, Docker host public IP. Let me show you. This is the one three dot two three three. The Docker host public IP. So I put this IP in the browser and then add that host port. Okay, host port is the eight zero eight zero and the container port is the eight zero. Let put the host port is the eight zero eight zero. So it's showing the web page inside the container the web page the east box okay now i'm going to uh, modify uh, uh, this container suppose i going to install some binary dependency and doing some uh, changes inside the configuration file so let me do all these things so before i'm going to do let me show how many uh, docker images in my uh, that docker host so command will be the docker image ls so in my docker hope there is three uh, docker images there one is the alpine image second with the httpd image and third one is the centos image okay so i'm i'm going to log in inside this container with the help of the docker exe that's hyphen it and then the container name you can put the container name or the container id here okay and then bash cell i want to the bash cell access so i'm inside the container this is a container id start from the 383 okay and i'm inside the usr 
uh, inside the usr folder then local then apache to folder inside the container let me pwd command for the pwd so i'm inside the usr local and apache folder so let me uh, change this index dot file okay so i'm going to change with the help of the echo command and uh, this is dummy index file for docker lab okay i'm um, to modify it works uh, to this content okay so index file having inside that ht docs folder ht docs folder and here we found the index.html file okay so i'm going to replace uh, is index.html uh, file content with this line okay so i'm updated uh, my index.html file let me read the file once again with the help of the cat command so it's updated so let me refresh my web page okay my web page also have showing the latest content from the index file okay apart from this i'm going to create one uh, uh, file over here for uh, for this demo purpose okay so let me create one more file here so i'm with the help of echo i'm going to create the one more file and this is configuration file for demo and file name will be the configure dot txt okay so i'm creating one uh, file which name is the configure.txt inside the same location usr local apache let me show you the file is there configure.txt file i created this file right now let me read the content of this file so it's have the same content okay so suppose you have installed all the binaries all the dependencies uh, all the configuration you made inside the container and you have set up of uh, your uh, your data inside the container so this container is uh, running fine uh, for but for the future use you want to create a uh, image why if this container goes die any for any reason so you don't need to uh, doing all this repeatable tasks again and again okay so i'm going to exit from this container okay let me clear the screen so we have container running so uh, so now how we can create the docker image uh, from this running container so let me firstly verify let me firstly verify uh, the how many images is there in my docker host so i have only three images so how we can create a docker image from this container so it's very simple this is a very simple command so command will be the docker commit then container id this is a container id and then the image name which you want to create so i'm going to create image name web server and version or the tag will be that tag will be the v1 so now it created uh, that uh, new docker image with the name of the web server and tag val value will be the v1 with the help of this container running in there let me show you docker image ls so i have one more docker image which name is a web server and its tag is a v1 image id is this 0 2 and it's created 17 uh, seconds ago and its size will be the 148 mb so now i'm going to kill this container and we'll create other a new container with the help of this docker image and and then verify our configuration file index file and that other configuration file okay so i'm going to kill this container so docker rm hyphen f and then the container id so let me show you docker ps there is no any container 
running. Let me verify this web page once again. So web page is not reflecting, it's showing the site can't be reached. So now I'm going to create a new container with the help of this Docker image. Okay. So if this Docker image have the all the configuration, a file, all the data, all the binary uh, which you made, okay, inside the container, okay. So come on with the Docker run hyphen d detach mode hyphen p and let add the same port and the, this is the container port and the hyphen hyphen name will be that web two and the image docker image will be the this one web server okay web dash server and tag will be the v1 so container is running let's verify docker ps container is running and is using the image uh, web server and tag will be v1 container id is ab then f4 using the port host port uh, 8080 and the container port is the 80 and container name is the web2 let's verify the same page once again so it have the same page same index page which we did inside the last container okay so let me log in on the this uh, container and we verify that that configured config.txt file should be there inside this container so i'm going to log in inside this container with the help of the docker exe command uh, then it then container name and then bas so i'm inside this container and i'm inside this location usr local repository let me show the files here so we found our file here which name is the configure.txt let's read this file content so it's have the same content as well so my dear friend you learn how you can uh, uh, create a docker image with the help of the running container and why it is so useful so if you have any concern or any suggestions please let me know inside the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching.